ampliarlo. Okay, um, hi everyone. We <laughs> sorry, really? <laughs> Excuse me. I will do this there. Wait a second. There. Ahora sí, pon esto en la. Yeah. Either way. ¿Me gusta la máquina? Para que... Lo... There. You start. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. We are Adam, Valentina, and my name is Nicolás. We are going to present uh, the main progress of our project on Julia to improve uh, accuracy and performance in econometrics. Uh, the aim of this project is twofold. First, building bridges between machine learning and econometrics, and two, closing the gap between uh, econometrics and economics, per, uh, economics and Julia language, sorry. Um, so as the first motivation, uh, since uh, 2004, uh, Google Trends shows that uh, econo econometrics and machine learning appears to be substitute and not complementary, uh, as stated uh, by um, predominant uh, researchers like uh, the Google chief economist Hall Berrian. Uh, and uh, it is well known that um, a high level, low performance software like R and Stata um, are predominant uh, among economists, um, uh, mainly because their, ha their extensive functionalities like tests and, and estimators, a large community, and, and their uh, is-to-use graphic user interface. Uh, so in order to, to close the first gap, uh, we, we built a new uh, Julia package uh, merging machine learning and econometric capabilities. Um, last year, we present the first step of this package, uh, a fast also cell regression algorithm um, that uh, find the best model uh, among all possible uh, covariate combinations uh, and obtain a measure of coefficient uncertainty uh, among the model specification. And after, after many refinement, it is running up to uh, 3,200 faster, uh, times faster um, than Stata and R, respectively. Uh, and, but, uh, however, uh, this is not feasible for, for fat data. So, um, in order to solve this, we, we develop a new, uh, a new package, um, building a bridge between uh, econometric and machine learning, um, with, main three, with three main features. Uh, the first one, uh, no linear relationship to improve accuracy. Uh, the second one, um, a regularized lasso regression uh, to allow uh, fact data analysis. And three, um, a, a cross validation uh, sub, sub, sub sample uncertainty. Um, all of these, uh, all of these in, uh, options preserving uh, and econometric features like uh, residual test for causal inference and also a regression for parsimony. Uh, now Adam and Valentin will be explaining the, the main features of the package and the graphic user interface. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm short. Sorry about that. Well, the approach that Nicholas mentioned has been implemented by the following structure. First, the user set the GUM and select the database to work. Then a preprocessing process, okay, perform uh, different things like season adjustments, out um, missing values, um, empty or with values managed, standardization, 
and seasonal adjustment, or layer detection, I think, yes. Uh, the user also can perform nonlinear relationships to be, to be made uh, in order to, to have more accuracy. These uh, are squares, logs, and first order interactions. And unlike neural networks, unlike neural networks, we use simple nonlinear transformation uh, in order to have a trade off between um, accuracy and interpretability. Okay. Then we have a lasso uh, step, can be used for dimensionally reduce the variables. variables. This is mandatory to work with pet data. Um, the next one. Yeah, I'm sorry. And in turn, a uh, subset regression can be performed for XFT search of the best model result. It has two important things. First, has better accuracy than lasso. And then, uh, it's allowed for stability analysis across models. I have problems with this, I, okay. Optionally, optionally, a cross validation can be used to define coefficients taking into account sampling risk. And the last one, finally, a very important feature for PhD students, I think. All previous results can be exported on CSV files, plain text summaries, and a dynamic and flexible LaTeX document. Now, I will show you a simple video, very fast, about how you can export your, your data on LaTeX. Oh, sorry, I skipped something. This can be performed with very multiple ways. The most advanced way is has a lot of uh, options to open or close the, the options, the, the steps, and a simpler one that is way simple that uh, it depends of the default values of the package. Also, because these steps are uh, independent, you can run it uh, independent, uh, each one uh, without problem. Well, this is the video that I mentioned. Uh, there is running Julia, it's creating things. Uh, this is a warning about another package. And we have the CSV file and then a zip that is the LaTeX uh, search. We can run in this platform and with drag and drop and then waiting a little bit. Waiting a little bit, it's a video. <laughs> um, we will have the search and compiling is worse than CSV. And then we have the CSV, uh, the uh, LaTeX port with all graphics, all tables, and all ta ta tables, all tables, and graphics. Well, which are the, our contribution for the second gap? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, we are running for them. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, if you have questions, something you, we can ask them later. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, any questions? Oh. The what? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not the. It's global cell regulation GL on .gl on GitHub. Uh, we are developing this this UI. We are going to have for next news. I have a quick question. You have a slide that shows all kinds of econometric yeah. packages, right? How is different this this one different from all these other ones? Well, this try to merge the the two things. One is the UI for developers, and the other why the other one is uh, the algorithm, the package that has algorithms. Well, we have this this side that is the the one that make all the regressions and machine learning thing, and we have a UI to make simpler to the to the user that can program and or didn't have knowledge about programming. And this is the previous one. You can reach out on uh, Judacon 2018. But uh, we are developing this one that could be uh, developed by the community. Uh, is it free? No. It's free. No. Oh, is it? OK. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> free as a free beer. Yeah. yeah, free as a free beer. Yeah. <laughs> no. Let's have it for these guys. <laughs> 